When we get by the power plant, we'll pull our, our protest signs out, our signs informing that we want clean water, we must have clean water, and uh, we'll set up to do video and uh, short clip interviews of uh, the paddlers and where they're from. It's been so big, I want to make sure that if the wind picks up and the photos, we're, we're stable. If, uh, if you have any issues with it, we just drop those banners and keep stable. Uh, that's the main concern. The first thing I want to do, I want to ask you, does everybody that's paddling have a PFD, a life vest? Does anyone need one? Okay. Second thing is, there's not enough parking here for us legally. So we have a few single spots. Those single spots will be for the shuttle drivers to come back. So I'm going to organize the shuttle now. What I need is only drivers. My name is Dale Swanson. I live here in Stokes County. Uh, I'm here today to uh, paddle on the river with, or paddle on the lake. I usually paddle on rivers. This will be a new experience. I haven't been on a lake in a while. Uh, here to uh, support clean water and uh, hang out with a bunch of other people who are here to support clean water. I think it's a really important point which you brought up about being nonpartisan. And North Carolina Warren is proud to say that we are nonpartisan. And I think that's why it's really important for us to share the facts of what's gone on with Duke Power. And I'm gonna do that because that was part of what I was gonna say earlier. I hope y'all don't mind that. So North Carolina has 50 reported toxic coal ash dumps containing at least 16 billion gallon, gallons of coal combustion. That's enough to cover 38,662 football fields one foot deep. Leakage of coal ash pollution from dumps and landfills into our waterways is a threat to public health. Doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat, Republican, Independent, or you belong to another party. You, we all will be affected by this. In fact, 29 dumps have been rated high hazard by the EPA, meaning failure would probably lead to loss of human lives. And that's the real risk we see here at Blues Creek with the plant being the largest in the state and the coal ash, one of the coal ash ponds being the largest as well, I believe. Children are more susceptible to health impacts of coal ash such as asthma, developmental disabilities, and impaired bone growth. There's more risk of heart attack. And across the U.S., 1.54 million kids live near coal ash sites. And what we know is that if you live within a mile of a coal ash site, it's the equivalent of smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. That's really scary. People of color, and this is important, people of color make up one in four, or 24.5% of the residents living with them. Nice. What do we 